25. Flight lock in. T minus 20 seconds. 15. Rofi ignition. 10. The igniters have been lit. 9, 8, 7, 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. boosters still at good uh, chamber pressures in the full power mode and the good core chamber pressure in the partial thrust mode at 2 minutes 22 seconds in. Two minutes 35 seconds in, still looking good. Coming up on the 2 minute 43 second mark. Mark, two minutes, 43 seconds. The Delta IV of heavy Valkyrie now just weighs one half as much as it did at launch, running propellant at the rate of 4,744 pounds per second. Three minutes, one second into the flight. Still looking good. Passing Mach 5. Three minutes, 16 seconds in. Good engine control. Less than one half minute remains on three booster flight. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. We're standing by for the uh, command to go to the partial thrust mode in the port and starboard booster. That command should occur about 10 seconds from now. And we've had partial thrust command. Port and starboard should be toggling down to the partial thrust mode. Standing by for main engine cutoff. We have cutoff in the port and starboard and separation. A good separation of the port and starboard boosters. Core booster now powering up to the full power mode. Four minutes, ten seconds into the flight. Good chamber pressure in the port. A uh, correction, good uh, chamber pressure in the core booster. At four minutes, eighteen seconds in. Four minutes, 25 seconds in, still looking good. Good engine control in the core. About one minute remaining on first stage flight.
Four minutes, 46 seconds in, still looking good. Chamber pressure holding very well in a core booster. As we're approaching the five minute mark. Five minutes into the flight. Standing by to go to the partial thrust command, that partial thrust command about 15 seconds from now. Good engine control. Five minutes, 20 seconds in. And we have partial thrust command in the core. Core chamber pressure beginning to go down, as expected, standing by from Miko. We have Miko, the main engine has cut off, standing by for stage separation. We have stage separation. Heads is deploying, the nozzle has been extending, standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark and we have ignition, ignition on the second stage, second stage chamber pressures beginning to rise. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we're taking over commentary at this point as we come up on the first two critical Orion program milestones, the service module fairing panel jettison and the launch abort system jettison, standing by for those first two critical events. The uh, service panel uh, jettison uh, has occurred. The three 13 by 14 foot panels have separated. And we have launch abort system jettison. The 361 pound solid propellant motor has pulled the launch abort system free from the uh, upper stage and uh, from Orion. Everything going extremely well. The first two critical uh, milestones have been accomplished and we are now processing uh, telemetry from the Orion spacecraft through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Coming up on the seven minute mark into the mission, Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, now 127 miles in altitude, some 700 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Reports here in Mission Control indicate that Orion's uh, guidance uh, systems are up and running in good shape. This view once again of the uh, service module fairing panel jettison that occurred uh, just about a minute and a half ago. We are now coming up on the eight minute mark into the flight. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, 142 statute miles in altitude almost 900 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. GPS systems on Orion uh, have uh, come into full agreement uh, with navigation systems on the spacecraft. Orion is functioning perfectly at this point. Orion heading uh, almost due east from the Kennedy Space Center in an orbit inclined uh, just about 28.4 degrees to either side of the equator. Eight and a half minutes into the flight, the upper stage is currently traveling and carrying Orion to its preliminary orbit. Now traveling at a velocity of almost 14,000 miles an hour, its altitude flattening out. The uh, upper stage ignition uh, will continue for about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds from the time it began with uh, SECO 1 or a second stage cutoff number 1 just about eight and a half minutes from now. And this is our first view from uh, cameras on uh, the Orion spacecraft streaming video that, are, that is coming down being processed through the tracking and data relay satellite system showing a view of the Earth as Orion is being carried to its preliminary orbit all of its systems operating in excellent condition on this uh, first test flight of America's newest spacecraft.
We are also processing uh, telemetry through the Antigua tracking station in the Lesser Antilles, southeast of Puerto Rico. Coming up on the 10-minute mark into the flight, Orion is traveling uh, almost 15,000 miles an hour, nearing its orbital insertion velocity. Ten and a half minutes into the flight, everything ex going extremely well. This view from uh, one of the cameras in the Orion spacecraft looking at the limb of the Earth as it heads toward its preliminary orbit, sailing over the uh, South Atlantic right now. Currently uh, 155 statute miles above the Earth. The upper stage of the uh, Delta IV rocket, uh, once it cuts off uh, on this first of two such burns for the upper stage in about uh, six minutes and 45 seconds, will uh, have left uh, uh, Orion in an orbit uh, for its first lap of the Earth of about 560 by 120 statute miles.